Welcome to the Freedom Foundation's Session Watch. I'm Corey Burris, and with me is Trent England, and we're here to talk about the first big bill that we know is coming. And it's here, and it's not something we typically talk about, but... That's right. It, uh, it does actually play a lot into things that we do usually talk about, like the budget, and that is the gay marriage bill. That's so, right. So uh, tell me, Trent, what, what is the gay marriage bill, and why should people care about it? Well, uh, I mean, the, the bottom line is, this is legislation to make Washington the seventh state in the country to, uh, to, to uh, allow men to marry men and women to marry women. Uh, and uh, the, I mean, the governor rolled this out. I think to a lot of people, it was, uh, it, it was a surprise. Uh, the governor in the past has been, you know, t along with a lot of people on the, the social left, pushing an incremental agenda, domestic partnerships, and, and uh, you know, a lot of gradual changes to the law. And, um, and they had never, you know, they, they had never gone uh, this far. And suddenly the governor's made this, this is her top priority during the legislative session. And that's what I think most people here are a little <clears throat> perturbed by, is the fact that all of a sudden that's the main thing. We all know that the budget's in disarray. We have, I mean, it seems like a distraction to me. Well, we, you know, we said the other day, on, on uh, session watch that this session will be about the budget and people who want to distract from the budget. Yeah. And Governor Gregoire has, you know, what, what she's done with this, I mean, I, it, it's, it's a cynical ploy. Even people who support gay marriage should be honest enough to recognize that the support they're getting from Governor Gregoire has to do with the fact that she's too cowardly to actually go out and have an adult conversation about the budget. I mean, this it, it's a totally cynical political ploy uh, to distract people from the budget issues. And, you know, the question is, will it work? And I, I think, I actually think it will work. I, I think that the unfortunate thing about an issue like this is that it's such an emotional issue for people on both sides that, you know, we, we can be spending ourselves into oblivion, writing checks on our great-grandchildren's behalf, and, uh, you know, that they'll never be able to pay. And, you know, the, the marriage issue is something that a lot of people are going to um, care about to the exclusion of everything else, I think. So what can people do? What should people do in light of this? Well, I, I think that, uh, I, I think it's, it, it is an opportunity for people who are serious about state spending and the size of state government and these basic issues uh, to, to go out and to point out that, yes, some people don't want to talk about these things. They want to wave, you know, red flags in front of voters. Uh, but we don't, you know, we don't have to respond to that. And we need to stay focused on, uh, you know, on these issues that are that are impending right now. I mean, it's, it's illegal for the state to run a, a deficit. We have the Budget and Accounting Act. This is not, it's not just a financial problem, it's a legal problem. And the legislature and the governor have a responsibility to deal with this. Well, there you have it. Stay focused on what matters and what matters, what what's happening right now, the things that are at hand. Uh, you can always check out all of our information at myfreedomfoundation.com and you can also check us out on Facebook and follow us and get these videos as they come out.